weird that it's changed. Turn around real quick. Restock is up on us. The best style to ever be put in a day day. I think it's a little bit much in my opinion. Yeah. The first one I've seen. Yeah, I so this week I'm going to talk you guys through the Carnival brand itself. I'm going to show you a few different styles, um, what you can do to your carte to maybe look a little, a little bit nicer, and the different values. only got 20, 26 mil. I have heard that one would be around the 7,000 pound mark. Yes, that'd be the concealed bracelet and it'd be, um, you know, better condition on, on the strap and stuff. The, the actual bracelet itself won't have too much sag to it. Guy's asking for a ladies on the phone. Gonna send him over some options. Other than that, just sold a factory ladies. 26 mil with a factory diamond dial. It's gone to a girl for her 18th birthday. So congratulations, beautiful watch. Uh, if any of you guys are interested for one of these or anything like this, we have, I'd say, over 50 ladies' watches in stock, so we'll definitely have something for you. So today, 10th of October, it is just gone quarter past 10. We've got an issue. Plant is leaving the country this evening. It needs a quick, quick glass change. I don't know what the hell he's done to his sapphire crystal. We get this change, turn around real quick. So remember the date, remember the time. Let's try and see if we can get it done today. What, link out? Yeah, yeah sure. we'll try on. linking and we'll go from there. Sound brother. No worries. The famous 36 mil, golden eye dial. Beautiful watch, had a lot of messages on it. Finally, finally, someone come through for it. Won't find many of these about, that's for sure. If you did watch our Q&A, Judd did say this is the best watch under 10 grand. So. What does he know? What does he know? <laughs> I'm taking packaging to a whole different level. So I received some weight. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but bloody hell. How long is this going to take? One. To be fair, that is so clean. Look how sharp that watch is. And that is why you wrap watches like that. That is incredible. So I was purchasing some ladies' watches yesterday as we were running a little bit low. Which is quite crazy, actually. I didn't really think We'll be selling a lot of ladies watches in September, October, but we have, so the restock is upon us. And these look like these are gonna be fantastic condition. So, I can get them out. Guys, stay tuned. So it's 3.58, sorry, 3.38, 10th of October, and we've got it done. New glass, fitted and pressure tested. No. Tried on the yacht. Yep. I like the yacht. I've yes. got about 14 uh, to look at. Sweet. Um, Batman? Batman, yeah. yeah. Back girl if you've got it, if not. I ain't got back to girl. girl. I don't think, let me just double check. I should. No, I uh, have. What are they retailing? I'm not actually what you've got. So the back girl, you depending, you probably pay around 14, 14 and a half. Was that 2019 or Yeah, it'd be like a pre owned If you wanted a newer one, they're probably a bit more like 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so if I can keep it down to the 14 mark. Well, the Oyster one, 2020, you're going to pay around like 37. So the 2020 Batman. Not, is it just movement? So the 126 movement would have been the, the newer one, whereas yeah. that one is going to be, I think that's a 116. I'll right. have to double check. I think 2020 was like the transition year. Yeah. Okay. Because they re-released the Oyster, didn't they? It keeps going up and up and up. Pepsi's a little bit out of your budget, to be fair. Yeah. But if you wanted to try what the Jubilee looks like on, because it's, it's, it's GMT still, so. Yeah, it's still the same thing, yeah. Yeah, but just a different bezel, yeah, obviously. I'm sure you get you a back girl. I mean, so how, how sort of quick did you want uh, to To be honest, I'm looking probably the end of the month, beginning of next month anyway, so. You're well, sweet, that's, look, what I'll do is, time. I'll take your number. Yeah. If yeah, you no. wanted, listen, if you wanted to go, like a 21, 22, you might have to stretch maybe like 500 quid, you'd be able to get one. Oh right, okay. If you wanted to, like a 21. Yeah. Yeah, 2020, green and white card, uh, 14 that's, grand. That's that the older one, isn't it? Yeah, oh. it's the green and white card, yeah. I don't know, to be honest, I don't know. No, nah, of course not. Sweet, so I'm just texting you back, girl, 2019, 2020, green and white card, 14 grand, 21 yeah. new card, 14 yeah. and a half, and I've just texted you the Imaginary. Lovely, I've got So. That. Yeah. 
Yeah, perfect. Thanks, thanks, thanks very much. Sorry, what was your name? My name's Alex. Alex, oh, oh, Alex. Just let me know Cheers, in mate. end of the month when you're ready. Yeah. Like I said, if I haven't got it here in stock, mate, I can get them for you. Or I'll say to you when I'm ready. Then yeah. you can just Or I'll say to you, look, ten percent deposit, ping yeah. it over to me. I'll give me a few days and it'll be here yeah. fresh. So not everyone who comes up here buys a watch straight away. Uh, we're open to anyone to come up here whenever they like. Uh, some people are just looking and, and preparing themselves, like Gary there, he, he's looking to buy one at the end of the month. Um, I just explained to him that what we can do here is you can leave a small deposit of say 10% of the value. The, the deposit will be non-refundable as we are sourcing the watch for Gary. Um, but yeah, once he's sent me the deposit over, I usually say three to five days uh, to get the watch in. Once it's in, he can come and collect it. Lovely watch, you don't really see that often. It's a Rolex Yachtmaster, 18 karat gold. This is the 35 mil. Beautiful watch. Just obviously checking everything with the serial number, model number. Coming from a good customer. We're buying it today, so we're gonna get it polished, serviced, uh, sandblast on the bezel, and you'll see it online very, very soon. But in the meantime, let's your name. Uh, repair people like engrave the date they serviced it on the back of the case obviously you have to get your micro zoom for that a lot of watchmakers out there use a uv pen so it can't be seen to the human eye in this case this person has used a regular pen <laughs> golden eye stainless steel concealed gentleman was quick enough to send a deposit over congratulations a lot of interest on it yeah that's perfect mate as well you want joe yeah, that was why I get the other one out. And it looks great. It's looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks nice on the dark bed. We've got a lovely Daydate 36 mil with a factory diamond dial and a custom diamond bezel. Looks lovely, beautiful watch. Customers keeping the original fluted bezel as well. You can always chop it back. Right. Right. It's nice to have all these back in stock. Rose gold. You got master for me. Where's the flex? So if you wasn't watching our YouTube or Instagram over the past, or even the watch world over the past sort of 18 months, these went up to around 30,000 uh, pounds. You can now get them just under 20,000 pounds, which it's sad for the people who did buy high, but for the people who want to get in today, you can. 2015, 19,750. I've also got a 2018 coming in. That'd be 20,500 pounds. Get in. It's a perfect time. Our class. Are you saying he looks like a guy from Gustav? Bold statement, the best dial to ever be put in a day date. The Tiger, the Arabic Wave, Rose Gold, day date two. This watch was sadly discontinued some years ago. We don't often see them in good condition nowadays as a lot of them have been worn left, right and center. We're lucky enough to get our hands on one. This is a 2015 example, complete with box and paperwork. And this will be just shy of 36,000 pounds. We're gonna confirm the price. Uh, box papers, everything included. Okay, another one. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is the 41mm stainless steel Jubilee reference, fluted, Wimbledon. Uh, a very popular seller. Uh, Pick these up today for around 12,000 pound mark, uh, year depending. This is now available, we're gonna log it in, uh, check it over. It's pre to need uh, one, probably one in a service, but we will pull up the machine. I'll go for the green one, please, mate. Yeah, I'll buy them online, which I strongly recommend because we don't have a lot left. We've got around eight units left, so yeah, you're lucky if you can't pay and we've got one. Shop online, Shopify. So it's a new shape. Did you give 5,800 quid? No. Am I close? No, a bit more than that. A bit more? Yeah. How much more? I got it for six, six, seven. Okay. I think it's a little bit much, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, did you buy it because you loved it or did someone owe you money? I just bought it because it's just, I, I saw it in the window and uh, jewelers in Rumford. It's not, it's, look, it's not terrible, yeah. but I'd prefer, if I was you, I'd prefer to have the 41 mil. 41. Spend maybe another three, 400 pound yeah. more, got the 41 mil. It's not a terrible buy. I would say if you're going to sell it, sell it back to them and see what they had offer you. Sure, look, as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. Yeah, I like it. I've got it's very clean, very but, clean. Uh, it's only got that with it. Ah. Spoke on what's that? Yeah, yeah. Just need to refill. Like it says. <coughs> it's got a spare strap here as well. Spare strap? Oh, the rubber lever. It's better on a tie though, don't it? Yeah, definitely. Got a 
lovely, lovely Hublot rose gold. Not one you see often. Big bang. Just yeah. quick on that yacht then, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to confirm that, all your bits and pieces there, which is quite nice. Have a look, we'll size it up to your wrist as well. Lovely, cheers mate. Yeah, mate. Is that right anyway, isn't it? Platinum bezel, your master 40 yes. coming with an AV dial, they do tend to fly out. Such a classic watch. Cars, booklet, original swing tag, and original purchase receipt and debit card receipt, which is quite nice. I'd say it's a nice collector's piece. Yeah, yeah we have got to spend. Do you guys have the 59 um, The Rose Gold one, no. Yeah, yeah. I'd well, love to see that side by side with that because they're very similar. Very, very similar, yeah. but the blue is different. The blue I, saw, is different. I saw a photo on uh, Instagram. It looks better in person, I think. First one I've seen. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's, not the, it's not the same. Rose blue, gold, sky the blue. blue. Yeah, very similar. I'm a fan in person. Oh, in the US. I wasn't a fan, I wasn't that excited about it, but I actually we think on all of it, yeah? that is a very good looking watch. Rose gold and blue. Could be the new combo. Yeah, Will we be Cal? seeing blue date just dials we'll there, the lady. in the storm rose? That's the question, which I think this is the hint yeah, we will. Hi guys, we're back again. We had a great response from last week's segment on uh, six of the most popular watches right now for us. So this week, I'm gonna talk you guys through the Cartier brand itself. I'm gonna show you a few different styles, um, what you can do to your Cartier to maybe look a little, a little bit nicer, and the different values. As you guys might know, the Cartier models are most recognizable from like the square rectangular shape. However, they do do certain models like the Pasha and the Sport 21 uh, with the circle dials. These models are more on the cheaper end, I would say. The Pasha you can pick up for around the sort of 1,800 pound mark and the Sport 21 is similar sort of money. You can then obviously ice out your watch as well. I'm a personal favorite of the new shape Cartier de Santos. Uh, the skeleton one, fully iced out. This is a sold order that we've done to a customer. Uh, beautiful setting, he's gone for the 10 points in the bezel. You can go as big as up to say 18 points, but it look over the top. However, this one is very, very clean. And then lastly, you've got the classic models like the Galbi, uh, the Santos and the Roadster. Perfect watches for every day. If you've got a budget of say anything from like three and a half thousand up to say seven and a half thousand for the newest shapes, Definitely, definitely great watches to get into. Um, if you're interested in any of these pieces, guys, please feel free to drop me a message. Or if you want more details on either of the models I spoke about, hit me up on WhatsApp or Instagram. I'll be happy to help. So first up, I'm going to start with the uh, two of the smaller size uh, diameters faces. Uh, we're going to start off with the two level ones. Uh, here we have a Cartier Green Tank Must. Uh, and we also have a Tank Louis. Uh, the Tank Louis is the 18 karat yellow gold one uh, on the brown leather strap. And then you have the new Tank Musk, which is the green one. They also do this in red and blue. Uh, two, two lovely watches to be fair. The Tank Musk I particularly like uh, as they're quite sort of like vibrant colors and it's quite unusual for Cartier to do this. Uh, so I'm a big fan of the green, the blue and the, uh, and the green, the blue and the red, sorry. Um, and I think they'd be good for collectors, you know? I think if you could own all three uh, in years to come, they'd be, they'd be quite cool watches to, to show off. So the newer shape is the Cartier de Santos. This is the green dial. At the moment, the green dial right now is very hot. You guys also might see the white dial and the blue dial available in this model. Uh, it's a great, great watch for under 8,000 pounds for a sort of 41 diameter watch. Um, I have a white, a blue, and a green available. So if anyone is interested, then drop me a message. Cartier as a whole brand, if you guys was asking me, is it a good investment? They're not as strong as Rolex. Um, over the course of say three, four years, they tend to creep up, I'd say by around like 10% of their value. Uh, they're not like Rolex where I'd say sort of every year they jump up five to 10%. Um, however, they are safe models to get into. My favorite brands are Cartier, Rolex, AP and Patek. They're usually like the safer models to go into just because they're the most popular. Um, so yeah, definitely great watches for starter watches for anyone out there who has a low end of the budget. Uh, and then obviously, as you can see with the skeleton, you can spice them up uh, if you did want to make them a bit more blingy. This is behind the scene part three so far. This is how you do one take, ready? 
for Liverpool for the Premier League. I'll be honest, Cal, this one's shit. I'll be honest, I weren't really feeling that at all. First of all, we didn't put the box there. Oh, no. There's a few things. Do you know how long this is? I know, I know, I know. I know. But trust me, it's worth it. It's what people need to understand. This is what we do This is what we need, like. This is what we do for views. Take it ages to come off. Two, one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, oh my god, I'm so stuck. <laughs> See, Al's fucking in the reflection. <laughs> Yeah, I can see his eyes moving. <laughs> Get on this bit here. Huh? That's super clean. Do you leave it like that? We could just leave it as that. Yeah, I know. We yeah, just you, cut it. Yeah, like that I'll you cut it there. No. A lot of people on Instagram aren't going to necessarily yeah, watch past this part, are they? Yeah. No, really? Put it back. <laughs> yeah, so after one, two, three, four, five, six. After seven attempts, we're going to go with our second attempt. So here we have a stainless steel Patek Philippe Nautilus. It's a 5712, complete box and papers, dated 2016. Absolute stunner. Some people are quite uh, biased when it comes to buying a Patek. They feel like they shouldn't just buy a standard five seven eleven because it hasn't got a complication. So this is the next best purchase. Sexiest Nautilus. Do you agree or do you not agree? Oh, that's yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the sexiest uh, Nautilus uh, of a similar size to a 5 to 11, in my opinion. It's always been a favourite of mine. 